a lack of leadership and systematic institutions. I agree. So the question is, what is a country? Is a country a set of laws, traditions, and customs, or is it just a bunch of random people? No, it's, a, it's a group of people with an established system that share collective ideas and, uh, and language. Identity. And language. Well, language is how we communicate values. We can communicate in other ways. Well. How? Google Translate. We can, we can talk in different ways. Yeah, that's a, little, that's a little sloppy. Uh, the, so Switzerland has a national language, right? Hungary has a national language. China, Japan. Why do they get a national language and we don't? What's beautiful? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back to a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook crushes open borders Libra with a man born. Okay. This is going to be amazing. I couldn't tell it quick because they're kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. You don't want any immigrants speaking other languages or you just want... Uh, no, I want, I want the government to have an official language of the U.S. Our documents are written in English. So what's the issue with there not being an official language? Because a nation of foreigners is not a nation, it's a colony. You're foreign to one another. Well, that kind of goes against capitalist ideas, though. Why? That's all diverse. In a capitalist society, you want a free market with free choices. Yeah, made. but the best ideas win. So the diversity is not the strength. The excellence is the strength. Well, the diversity is the platform hmm. for the strength. So, so diversity is a temporary condition to eventually get to excellence, right? I guess temporary. Because if you have really bad <laughs> food poison food and really good food, the good food is going to work win out. So it's not the diversity of food. It's the competition of it. I mean, sure. Yes. Yeah. If you have a football team and everyone's calling their own plays, diversity is not the strength of the football team. Well, that's a lack of leadership and systematic institutions. I agree. So the question is, what is a country? Is a country a set of laws, traditions, and customs, or is it just a bunch of random people? No, it's, a, it's a group of people with an established system that share collective ideas and, uh, and language. Identity. And language. Well, language is how we communicate values. We can communicate in other ways. As well. How? Google Translate. We can. We can talk in different yeah, languages. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little sloppy. Uh, the, so Switzerland has a national language, right? Hungary has a national language. China, Japan. Why do they get a national language and we don't? Because they're based on different values than the U.S. was. Maybe. The U.S. was I, founded on freedom. Hold on. We overplay the liberal part of our founding. There was a liberal part of our founding and a conservative part of our founding. And we have forgotten the conservative part. The conservative part about preservation, separation of powers, and pre preserving a republic. The liberal parts are the enlightenment, speech, you know, advancement, all, and that's part of it. But we've completely rewritten our history. It says in the Declaration of Independence, when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands that have tied them to another, deriving from the separate equal station of power, the laws of nature and nature's God. The Founding Fathers were saying that there's a natural law that governs our entire existence. There has to be something that slows down progress for progress sake. So you don't think that our society could run efficiently and well if there's not a national language? No, it's just harder. It's not an impediment, it's just stupid not to do. It's not like a deal breaker, it's just why not do it? It's hurting us. It's unnecessarily hurting us. Hmm. Okay, I, I like this video. The reason why is because the, the student right there is clever, he's smart, he made his research and he's learning. He's not, he's not speaking out of like ignorance and I really appreciate students like this who, who know what they're talking about. It really matters. And how Charlie answered him, Charlie crushed him in a very good way. <laughs> I must use that. It's it's beautiful because if you think about it, it's not like the United States wants foreigners. It's just that we have to control it because we are losing our ourself. You you understand? Having diverse language doesn't mean it's a because it's a capitalist country you have diverse language. We are turning into a colony, and that itself is really, really something else and a bit dangerous. I will use that word. Um, what Charlie is just trying to say is that we should just have control of our border. We should just allow everyone to enter because we have mass my, mass immigration already. And if over 10,000 people are coming to America every single day, and that itself is really massive. And aside that, Charlie is trying to tell him that um, we have lost our touch about our rules. USA first language or first standard of language is English. 
you understand so if if we lose that or how we speak it's it's really affecting us in general you understand because the world is looking up to us and when it's saying that us is already something is a colony already and diverse language anyone can speak this group of people is speaking this, this group of people this group of this group of you're no longer us again you understand it's not a colony it's no longer a capitalist country again it's something different this was amazing to watch i love how the students was was what to learn like he had something that charlie said that was sensible about the colony the u.s going to a colony he was like he wants to learn more like he's someone who is open for correction and uh, and that's by doing that you you learn much better than instead of you attacking the person you are not some people don't have don't use good faith to debate they just want to just prove the next person wrong by all means necessary even if there are some points the next person is saying they just don't accept it and i love how the student um was open to learn and i love how charlie was calm coordinated and answered the students really really effectively and in the background i was hearing some students chanting i feel like they they just don't like charlie they don't like his speech they don't like tony points usc but that does not matter for us what is what matters is i were able to share the words to the world to hear you understand charlie was able to make this video and i was able to hear the entire speech and it was beautiful and i'm glad that i was able to watch this video comment below think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video to as many as you can subscribe to china i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe i just want a bag like an old lady i'm back wood smoking i don't own papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake oh bitch you know i'm grinding like a pro skater baby mama bugging i'm so quick to hit ignore buku bitch in my bed i got scales all